Mr. Deity is filmed in front of a live studio audience. No, Mac, you're not, you're not. <laughs> Mac, you're not listening to me. I am not going to be buying stock in a computer company named Apple. I mean, that name is a total drag. I B M Mac. Now, there's a name I can get down with. <laughs> No, that's even worse, because now all I can think of is a tiny little flaccid pecker. I mean, I would love to have a window into the thinking of these cats when they're coming up with these names, because these names aren't even copacetic on the surface. Sir, Lucy is online too. Hey, Mac, I'm going to have to call you back. Yeah, I got another call coming in. I'll catch you later. Ciao. Hey, Lucy, what's shaking, baby? Hey, are the Mormons your people? Mormons. Are they the ones that don't do holidays and birthdays? No. Mormons are polygamy, no smoking, no drinking. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, you know, I wouldn't call them my bloods. Uh, they're more like a friend of a friend. Well, have you been getting the lowdown on them? Um, kind of. I mean, I heard about them ending polygamy, or at least pushing it underground. And that was about 80 years ago. Really? Bitchin'. <laughs> totally. But now things are getting heavy all over again. Hit me, baby. It's their policy of denying blacks the priesthood. Denying the black? You mean, you mean like the Catholics with the chicks? Yeah. Hot dog, that is one harsh bong. <laughs> yeah, they're totally tripping. So give me the skinny, baby. Why would they be killing everybody's buzz like that? Well, there's really no one reason. Some say black skin is the mark of Cain. You know, their holy book says black skin is a curse. No, you're joshing me. Not even. Some Mormons say it's because blacks didn't fight on your side in the war in heaven. Say what? War in heaven? Yeah, it's like they're stoned. Well, now I'm tripping too, baby, because I don't even know how you have a war in heaven. War? Yeah, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> so, wow, you know, that is unreal, but can't the fuzz do something about that? No, man, free speech, freedom of worship. That's why I'm calling you. You gotta close the shades on this. What, you want me to narc on them? No, just give them a holla. Set them straight, because right now, they look like a bunch of doofuses. To the max, but I don't see how that becomes my gig where I have to boogie down and confab with these jive turkeys? I mean, if they want to bogart the stupid, that is their groove. Well, that's a drag, because if you don't give them the smackdown, they're going to think you're digging their stink. <laughs> They'll catch my drift. Yeah, in 50 years. No, they're catching heat already. Isn't that why you're calling? Things are getting gnarly? Yeah, they're bumming out a lot of people. Trust me, they'll cave and, and quick, okay? They're not Catholics. <laughs> I hope you're right. What it is, what it was, and what it will be, baby. Isn't that what I've always said? You just started saying that last week. <laughs> Lucy. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, what are you doing for spring break? Nothing. What are you doing? Buddha and I are blazing out to the 13th dimension because that place is so incredibly tubular. I'm going to be super zen by the time I get back, okay? I mean, how righteous is that? That's wicked. Oh, you, you don't think it's righteous? No, I do, but wicked means righteous now. Uh, uh, and and that's, that's good. It is, but it's also bad, because bad means good. Okay, that's... Uh... Cool, I guess. Except hot is the new cool. I see. So hot is the new cool. Right. Boy, these are really confusing times. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you're like me, you've probably had a rough couple of weeks, am I right? I mean, it has not been easy, has it? And yet, here you are, I'm so proud of you, bravely bursting forth from the fetal position, hauling your ass out of bed, and doing something, anything, to get your mind off the dystopian future that will surely rain down upon us like a plague of genital herpes at a brothel. I don't even know what that means, but it just feels so good to talk about anything but the... <clears throat> Okay, not gonna do it, not gonna go there, not gonna, not gonna talk about how our first potential female president was beaten by a man who bragged about grabbing women by, okay, okay, not going there, not going there, all right. So, honestly, I was thinking that if a certain person won, I would be able to pack up my things and head off to some remote island where, you know, there's no prohibition on recreational marijuana or California. I mean, we wouldn't really have needed videos like this anymore, right? The future would have been bright and secure, a happy, healthy, loving place for all. But, but now, I, 
I can't even believe I'm saying this. I seriously can't think of anything more important than videos like this. And believe me, I know how self-serving that sounds because I've been self-serving myself for any number of self-serving reasons for a very long time. But this, this is different because I've never used these baking segments to self-serve or show any concern for myself. It's always been all about you. That changed on November 8th because now, it's even more all about you and your need to stay informed, defended, enlightened, and frankly entertained. Especially now that we have a nut bar from the dark side of the religious right just a heartbeat away from the most powerful position on earth. So here's my pledge to you. If you'll head on over to MrDD.com and click the donate button, I will, when donations and subscriptions are up just 10%, promise you videos that are 50% more insightful, informed, enlightening, and entertaining. I might even go up to 51 or 52%. I'm not sure. We'll see what I can do. But trust me, we'll be monitoring that percentage with all the tools available to make sure that you are getting your 50% or, or 52, while I'm only getting 10% more. That's an astounding savings of 40% to you and yours and theirs. And what better time to get such a great deal than a around the holidays when we're all gearing up for the war on Christmas, right? Heck, in that vein, you could set up a Patreon subscription in the name of your pre-Vatican II Catholic grandmother and send her a card telling her that you're supporting the show in her name. Just imagine the Gloria in Excelsis Deo she'll feel. Of course, you gotta make sure that you have a han hanky handy or something like that when you do, because sometimes when the, when the old people feel the in Excelsis, you know, things get messy. They're not always in control when they get excited. So be prepared. And to everyone who has already supported me and my videos in whatever way, but mostly financial, you know what I'm gonna say, thanks. No, thank you, 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 I'm just being wacky. Have a great holiday and we'll see you soon.